Welcome to Precision Weighing and Balances. Today we're going to be showing you this is the AMD GF10K. It's a pretty amazing scale. It's 10,100 grams by a hundredth of a gram. And to give you some perspective of the size, I have a tonic can here just to give you some idea of how large this scale is. So the weighing platform on this scale is 10.6 inches by 8.3 so it's a very very large platform for this type of precision so you have a nice stainless steel removable platform so you can clean and wash this down at any time and again those measurements and this is an amazing scale because of the fact that this is 10,100 grams by a hundredth of a gram you get a very large platform it's pretty unique so those measurements again we're looking at 10.6 by 8.3 inches and underneath the weigh-in platform you have your pan support and so this pan support comes right off and you'll notice the pan support we have these metal tips here now all this is is for grounding so a and d builds a top-notch balance they don't cut any corners um, some manufacturers you'll see on the market don't even bother grounding their weighing platform. It's for like static electricity. So it's a great design, and this is all milled aluminum. And beneath the balance, you'll see this is the post, and we have a sealed membrane here. So this particular balance is IP65 rated. It's dust and water resistant. And again, this is a forced restoration balance using the super hybrid sensor and the weigh cell post is right here and all the way around we have the silicon diaphragm so this design enables this particular model to be used in dusty and high moisture environments so nothing can actually enter the scale altogether and the back of the scale this is what they call a breeze break door for easy cleaning this can be removed so if you ever do have a spill this comes right off and you can hear this is all this is not plastic this is all cast aluminum housing extremely heavy duty it's a heavy scale so you're going to get very accurate results and on the rear of the scale let me just shut this off Try to shut the scale off on the rear of the scale we have the AC adapter this particular unit only works off of AC adapter and again you can see a and D again has a little cover here for the AC adapter so if you were to move the balance around everything is well protected we have an RS-232 interface right here and a and D sells a particular waterproof cable it's pretty expensive it's I don't know two hundred dollars or so and if you're not in a high washdown environment, then you can use the standard RS-232 cable. But so here's your RS-232 right here. And there are some options. If you wanted to get a comparator output, you would remove these two screws. This module would come out, and you would replace the RS-232 with AMD's um, GS04 or GS06 option. So that would be removed. And again, this is the rear of the scale. You can see we can take off the back breeze here for easy cleaning. I'll just remove that for a minute. And on the bottom of the scale, <coughs> this we have four adjustable feet, four adjustable feet for easy leveling. And this port right here is for an underhook for be below weighing. So if you are weighing magnetic material, um, hot items, cold items, you could hang it, you could suspend it. So you would remove these two Phillips screws and you would put a piano string wire and you could hang beneath the balance and you could do specific gravity or again, weigh in magnetic material because this balance works off of magnetism. That's how you're getting this high resolution. You would suspend the item from beneath. And at the very bottom, we have a card. I'll turn this over and show you. This is basically a cheat sheet on how to use the balance so you don't have to go find your manual everything's right there so again this is a real you know it's a heavy unit and um let me just plug this back in so we can go over some more of the functions 
So there's no plastic on this housing at all. This is all the cast aluminum housing. And you want that to get the performance. If you had a plastic housing and you're dealing with 10,000 grams, the lower case body could flex. And when it flexes, you're not going to get accurate results. So again, on the pan support, you will see there are two notches here and they go right in. So we'll put this back on. And then we have our pan, and that's how simple the balance is to use. So we have the four adjustable feet, and prior to this demonstration, I leveled the balance, so we're all set there. And I um, just want to show you some of the items that the balance comes with. a and gives a very detailed manual, so it's very easy to figure out how to use this balance, configure it for your application. There are a lot of manufacturers out there that have very confusing balances on how to configure. Their goal is basically for you to call for service to help you set up the balance. a and gives you a detailed manual, step-by-step -step instructions here is on using external calibration and how to do it. Very, very simple. So they do a fabulous job when it comes to a manual. The other great thing about a and this balance has a five-year limited manufacturer's warranty. It also comes with WinCP software. This software is basically data acquisition software, so you don't have to buy any software on the secondary market. It comes free when you purchase the GFK series or the GXK series. It is also downloadable at a and website, and this would be used for any a and balance. Um, to power up the balance, you can see we just have basically these six buttons right in the front. And so we have the on button. And when the balance powers up, all the segments illuminate. And then the balance goes to zero, zero. Now, we can go through the calibration and also change in way mode. Let me just show you how to change the way mode. So if I was to put on a tonic pan, and right now we're in grams, if I want to change the way mode, all I need to do is simply press the mode button. And so now I'm in kilograms. After that, I can change the way mode again. And you'll see this is piece count. And then here's percent mode. And then here we're in ounces, pounds. This is, ounce, uh, this is pound colon ounces, troy ounces, tariff. And um, penny weight, so if you're a jeweler, you have penny weight. Grains, and then now we're back to, I believe this is going to be, uh, might be custom unit. Now we're back to grams. Now in this demonstration, you might see the lights flashing, and that's just our digital camera. Um, in order to make these videos, um, we can either slow down the speed, but the video wouldn't come out that good. So. The light, if you see the display and it's sort of flashing, you're not going to have this. It's just the camera capturing it, the frame rate. But this is a nice vacuum fluorescent display that comes with the scale. And so um, very simple to use. And in regards to calibration, it's simple one press calibration. We, have, we can tear it. So if you wanted to tear an item, you just simply press the zero key to tear it. And then you can put on a second item and see what the weight is. And you can consistently tear a re-zero until, providing you don't exceed the weighing capacity. Now, I mentioned there's a cheat sheet here that I wanted to show you on the balance that helps operators um, configure the balance and use it. So let me just move this back. So this cheat sheet is on the bottom of the balance, and it just pulls right out. And so, this sheet will show you how to calibrate the balance and also how to use the parts counting mode. So a and really builds a nice product, very well engineered and thought out. So uh, it's simple to use for the end user. And that's the goal. Anybody in a laboratory, you don't want to be spending hours trying to figure out how to use this precision instrument. You want to just open it out of the box, 
set it up in go. So <clears throat> let me just put this back a little bit more. Now, we also have a sprint bubble indicator that's located in the front of the balance, and that is used for leveling the balance. And there are seven models in this series. So this particular model is 10,000 by a hundredth of a gram. The models range anywhere from, you can get a dual range balance all the way up to 31,000, but that would be by a tenth of a gram. So one final thing I just want to show you is how to calibrate the balance. And we're going to go through the calibration procedure, and it's really very simple to do. So to perform calibration on this particular balance, one simply needs, you're going to need at least uh, class two weights minimum. And so to perform the calibration, one simply presses the cal button. So I'm going to press and hold the cal button. And you'll notice it says cal out and then cal zero. And so we're going to have to store the value at zero, nothing on the platform at all. So we press and hold the print button. And when I do that, we're going to notice in the upper left-hand corner an arrow. So I'm going to press. And you see the arrow right there? So it's storing the parameters for nothing on the balance. And now I need 10 kilograms of weight. So I have a pile of two kilogram masses. And I'm going to put those on. Arrive class two weights, and then the balance is asking for 10 kilograms. Now we can go into the menu and change this value. With A and D, they allow you typically uh, three different different calibration weights. Um, this particular model, I think, actually has more. You can use like a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten kilogram weight. So now to store the value, we're going to again press the print key. When we press that print key. In the upper left-hand corner, again, we're going to see that arrow. And so there's the arrow, and it's storing the value with 10 kilograms. Now it says N. We remove the weight. And the balance will go back to zero, zero. And that's how simple it is to calibrate the A and D balance. You can see, oops, platform and you can see the balance. Um, we can run the calibration again, but the balance is right. We're showing uh, 9,999.99, so there it is. It's within tolerance. So this is the A&D GSK. It has external calibration only. There is another model called the GX series, and on the GX series, that has the motorized internal calibration. This is our demonstration. We are an authorized A&D dealer. You can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. Thanks for watching this video.